guys, welcome back to Wong Chemistry Channel. For this video, it's the part 1 video of your 5.3 solid. And in this video, we are only going to discuss two things. Why the solid having a fixed shape? Have you ever thought about that? Why whenever people say solid, solid always have a fixed shape. So we are going to explain this thing. We are also going to look at four phase changes, alright? Four physical process. Let's see what is the four changes later on. So, first and foremost, why we always say solid has a fixed shape? Why we come across that? Simple, it's all because of your arrangement and attractive forces, okay? The solid particle will be closely arranged together and in a regular complete order. Regular complete order means that the order, the arrangement is keep repeating, all right? All the arrangement in there is the same, all right? And they are also very closely packed together. And since they are very close to each other, the attractive forces between the solid particles are extremely strong and able to hold them firmly in one place. And you can see over here, your solid sitting very firmly on that particular one position. Agree with that? That is the reason why solid has a definite shape. The shape of the solid will not change no matter what is the shape of the container. That makes your solid different from your liquid, okay? The solid particles are also restricted to vibrate and rotate at its own axis only. Means that if the solid particle is already sitting in here, we have an axis over here. So your solid particles of this can only rotate and vibrate on that particular axis only. That is the reason why solid has a fixed shape. If this thing coming out in your exam, that is all your answer. Simple, easy. So talking about physical process next, we have a few physical process that involve the gas, solid, liquid. But in today's video, we are not going to discuss everything. We are only going to discuss those that relate to your solid. Okay, so the one that related to solid, there are four of them. The sublimation, deposition, melting, and freezing. Okay, and as we agree, the four physical process that we are going to look at are all related to the solid, whether from solid changing to others or from others changing to solid. We have four of them, which is your freezing, another name of freezing, solidification, melting, another name, fusion, sublimation, and deposition. So I know that everybody knows the changes of the phase. But in here, we are not only learning freezing is from liquid to solid. No, we are not only learning this. The question that you should ask yourself is why? All right. And also how? How can the liquid change to solid? In your melting, melting means solid changing to liquid. Have you ever thought of why the solid can change to liquid? Or how can the liquid change to solid? In here, we are going to explain all the process by using molecular theory, okay? Freezing. Freezing is a changing from liquid to your solid. So I hope you can see over here, this is my liquid, this is my solid. So freezing means I'm changing from the liquid to the solid, okay? What is the condition that we need? We must make sure that the liquid is cold. In the other words, the temperature over here must decrease. And when the temperature decreases, guys, kinetic energy of the liquid particle also decreases. So your kinetic energy decreases because your temperature decreases. And when the kinetic energy decreases, guys, the liquid particles start to move slower. Okay? And when they start to move slower, they will eventually move closer to each other and when they move slow and slow and closer to each other the attractive forces will then overcome the movement when they are so close and also moving so slow there will be one point that they are attracted to each other again and when they are attracted to each other again the liquid that were moving a bit freely just now will now be attached in the strong attractive forces the particles from the liquid will then become your solid, okay? Because when the attractive forces is strong enough to hold them, all the particles will be then hold in a fixed and orderly arrangement, which is your solid, okay? 
So freezing is about liquid changing to solid, you know that. With a condition, temperature decrease, kinetic energy decrease, move slower. And when you move slower, what happened? Closer to each other. And when your particles moving closer to each other, the attractive forces will then increase and become significant and stronger. So all your liquid particles will then be held in an orderly arrangement in the solid. That is how your freezing happened. And when the solid and liquid will coexist in the equilibrium at a temperature, that particular temperature is what we call freezing point. Okay, so freezing point is when your solid and your liquid exist in equilibrium. That particular temperature is what we call freezing point. Okay, next, how about melting? Melting is the conversion from the solid to the liquid. So you can see over here, we have our solid in a very fixed and orderly arrangement. And then you have your liquid down here where you can see that the arrangement is slightly freely. It's slightly loose, slightly free. The particles can move more than the solid. Okay, so we are changing from solid to liquid in the melting. And obviously, what we need? We need temperature increase. So in the solid, the temperature will increase. When the temperature increase, as always, kinetic energy of the solid particle will increase. And when the kinetic energy of the solid particle increase, they will then move faster. And when they move faster, guys, there will be a moment where the solid particle have enough kinetic energy to overcome the force of attraction. So when they start to move very, very fast over here, where the kinetic energy of these particles is higher than the attractive forces. When the kinetic energy is higher than attractive forces, it will then move further away from the solid particles, all right? It's able to overcome the force of attraction. And when they're able to overcome the force of attraction, your molecule will move and form a new arrangement. And most important thing, they will then separate themselves in a less order compared to solid. But that in mind, we are not changing to gas. We are not moving away from the arrangement. We are only moving less closely packed. So we are more loose right now but we are still attached to each other. We are still having force of attraction, but weaker, all right, because of the higher kinetic energy. So when your solid and your liquid coexist in the equilibrium, you will then realize that your melting rate is equal to your freezing rate, okay? So bear that in mind, for the melting, is your solid changing to your liquid. So for the solid changing to liquid, your temperature need to increase, your kinetic energy need to increase, your particles need to move faster, all right, so that you can overcome the force of attraction between the solid particles. You will then have a new arrangement, and the new arrangement is definitely to separate themselves in a less order arrangement compared to solid. So that is how we change from solid to liquid. This is the explanation that you need. Everybody knows melting is solid to liquid. But right now, at this moment, we don't want the solid to liquid. We want you to explain how the solid changing to liquid. All right? And last but not least, the temperature shall remain constant until all your solid particle has melted. That is what we call melting point. All right? And bear that in mind, your melting point will not change over there until all the solid has melted to become liquid. Okay, next we are going for sublimation. Okay, so sublimation is the direct change from the solid to gas. So you can see your solid over here and you can see your gas over here. We are not going through the liquid. We are changing all the way from the solid to your gas straight away without going through your liquid. That is what we call sublimation. From your solid straight away to become your gas. And for this process to happen, your solid needs to be heated drastically. See the difference? We are not only going to heat your solid, but we need to heat your solid drastically. We need to heat up your solid extremely. Then only your solid particles can absorb a lot of heat and cause the kinetic energy of the solid particle increase drastically. 
because if the kinetic energy just increase, your solid will only melt to become liquid. But if I want my solid changing to gas, we need to heat them up drastically, increase the kinetic energy drastically. See that? And once the particles at the surface of the liquid have enough high kinetic energy to overcome the intermolecular forces in the solid, it will then escape as a gas due to the extreme high of kinetic energy. Bear that in mind, to changing from solid to gas, you need to have an extremely heating process, extremely high kinetic energy. Then only your solid can change to gas. Alright? And when the solid and gas exist in equilibrium, that temperature is what we call sublimation. There will be a point where your solid and gas will coexist in equilibrium. Means one solid changing to gas, one gas changing to solid, one solid changing to gas, one gas changing to solid. That is your equilibrium. And at that equilibrium, we will call that as your sublimation point. Okay? Simple. Make sure you remember the keyword heated drastically. Make sure you remember the keyword of kinetic energy of the solid particle is drastically increased. Okay? Remember that two words. Next, and also last but not least, deposition. So what is actually deposition? Let's see. Deposition is the direct change again from the gas to the solid. So I have my gas over here. My gas will be changing all the way to the solid without going through the liquid. Can you see that? We are jumping all the way from the gas to the solid without going through the liquid. So if just now in sublimation, we need to heat up drastically. So over here, vice versa, we need to do a super cold. Super cold, in the other words, cold drastically. Your gas need to be super cold condition. We need to put them into a drastic condition so that the gas particles will lose a lot of its kinetic energy. The gas particles that you have in here will lose its kinetic energy drastically when you put them into an extreme low temperature. Okay? And when the kinetic energy decreases drastically, your gas particle will be moving extremely slow. Alright? When it moves extremely slow, it will then suddenly, from moving very freely, to suddenly sitting very close to each other. And the moment when they sit very close to each other from the gas, to the solid, what will happen? The force of attraction will then overcome the kinetic energy. So right now, your force of attraction will be stronger than your kinetic energy because you are moving extremely slow due to the low temperature. Okay? And when the force of attraction between the particles able to overcome the kinetic energy, then the gas particles will be held very closely in a fixed position and in an orderly arrangement. And that is how your gas changing to your solid. Okay? Because of the drastically cold, kinetic energy loses drastically. Particle move extremely slow. So they are sitting closer to each other. Therefore, force of attraction become more significant and stronger. It will then hold the gas particle close enough in an orderly arrangement and a fixed position. Alright? Simple? So, make sure you not only know the changes of the physical state for the process. Make sure you can explain every single process by using the temperature, by using the kinetic energy, and definitely using the force of attraction. There's nothing else if you realize it's the same thing. It's just what is the condition. Alright? And remember, in the sublimation and deposition, the word drastically or the word extremely is compulsory to differentiate them from freezing and melting. Okay? So I think that's it for this video. If you have any question, drop it in the comment below and make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again in the next video. Tunepocket.com